Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. Today we're doing the Red Dead Redemption 2 edition, where we're gonna go look for every single species of fish in the game. Uh, this is part of the survivalist challenge number 10. And yeah, we're gonna rock that and uh, see what happens. So first thing you need to do is you need to head here to the bait shop in La Gra. This will be unlocked once you do the chapter two Fisher of Men. Uh, that way you can unlock some, some of the special lures you can use to get the legendary fish. One way you can do this is you can actually just do all the legendary fish and then I think it's 13 of them and then you just have two species left. But right now I'm just going to do it as if we were just uh, going for each fish without looking for the legendary fish. I'm going to do that in one separate video. Uh, anyway guys, I mostly do Fishing Sim World videos but I thought I would try something different. I've been playing this game since I couldn't play Fishing Sim World while I was away for a while there and uh, anyway yeah so the first step is you're gonna go here to La Gras to the bait shop and uh, let's just get there hey, what's all you need right here? and then uh, let's just well, see I'll show well, you guys what you need to get so you're gonna go over here and buy you're gonna get some crickets you your you're gonna get some live worms you're gonna get some crayfish I'm just getting a bunch of the stuff and then you're also gonna make sure you have lake lures river lures and uh, Swamp lures now. I'm just gonna get a bunch just so I don't run out. I don't have to worry about it. We've got plenty of money there and uh, All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna show you guys the locations so one of them is going to be here-ish, in front of this little island in La Gras. One of them is here, just south of Clemens Point, west of Rhodes. One of them is here, just east of um, Rig Station. One of them is going to be here in Cattail Pond. Just uh, west of Valentine. One of them is going to be here in Okray's Run in Grizzlies East. And then one of them is going to be just off these islands off of uh, in front of uh, the Sisica Penitentiary there. And then uh, back to La Gras. Alright, so perfect guys. So we just bought a bunch of uh, lures and a bunch of bait we needed. And now we're actually going to head to Rhodes. And I'm just trying to do this as quickly as I can. I may edit this video down or I may leave it real time depending on how long this takes me. I'm just gonna literally do this in one shot. I'm just gonna save, uh, actually. No, we'll do fast travel first. We're gonna head to Rhodes. And then in Rhodes, what we're going to do is we're going to buy cheese, corn, and bread. And then that should keep make us have all the, the bait and lures that we have, that we need to complete this challenge. And then we're going to basically go clockwise. And uh, I think I discovered a way to do it fairly quickly. Now this might take some time just because, you know, it's not guaranteed that you're going to catch the fish. It might take you a couple well, of tries. Been a while since you were last here. Take but a basically look. what you want to do here is uh, ask. Okay. you can buy some hunting browse. and fishing stuff here, but we already did that in La Gras. So you're just going to go to provisions. You're going to go to fresh food. And then you're going to buy... A bunch of corn. Here. You're gonna buy a bunch of cheese. Fine. Good morning, making a pork and onion this. And then you're gonna buy a bunch of bread. That's just the way it goes, I guess. Perfect. A 
That should be good. And then from here, we are gonna go to our starting location for the actual fishing. And that location is gonna be right here, uh, just south of Clemens Point, west of Rhodes. Alright, so I do want to do this real time right now because I just want to. I'm curious to see how long this takes. And I uh, just had to make sure I was I hit the record button there, guys. Oh my lord, that's not good. <laughs> Big tip that I learned in this game is that for that not to happen to you, if you just let go of your stick, the horse automatically avoids all the trees so if you're going towards trees you let go of the sticks and your horse will automatically avoid them that was a big tip man uh, just so you don't do what I just did which is bump into everything on there the sun alright so here we are in the first spot I'll show you guys one more time in the map right roughly here down from here and we're just gonna equip some cheese and we should be able to get get at least uh, at least four to five we'll see but all right so get that bobber fishing going we're gonna get the cheese going And then, you know, you can hit the your left and right sticks, and you can kind of see what kind of fish are swimming around. So I'm seeing some bluegill over here, and probably some rock bass. So I'm just going to start casting here to the left. Oh, look, and we got something. Let's see what it is. Okay, so we got that first bluegill. I'm seeing some pickerel right in front of Gotta me here. Bait the hook. <laughs> Gotta bait the hook. So I'm gonna go back to the cheese here. And I'm just gonna go right in front of me here. Oh, I got you. I got you. And we got something else. Let's see where it what it is. And perfect. So we got a red fin pickerel. A pickerel. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that. I think there might be some oh, rock bass here. You fool. Uh, let's try something new. So we're gonna stay stick with the cheese, even though he said let's try something new. And uh, let's just see here. We're gonna do a cast here. We might get another bluegill. We're going for a rock bass right now. That's what we're trying to get. Oh. Well, you're on, my friend. Okay, I don't know. Not sure what happened there, guys. Uh, idiot Morgan. But uh, we're just gonna <laughs> go ahead and uh, do that again. Again, I'm gonna just take a look. 
You know, I have trouble telling between the rock bass and the bluegill. Okay. But we'll see. I got some hook. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully, it's a rock bass. Or a chain pickerel. And it looks like another bluegill. Ah, maybe next time. Alright guys, we'll do one more attempt for the rock bass. <laughs> Some bait might help. Oh, I gotta stop doing that man. Jeez. Us. Here we go. This is where I caught the, the rock bass before, it was on the left side. Go oh, now, I'm fishing. Got some. Alright, let's see what this is. If it's not a rock bass, guys, no worries. There's another place where we can get them. But, uh,. There you go, I think that's a rock bass. And boom, that's the rock bass, guys. So, with the cheese, we, we caught a pickerel, uh, a rock bass, and a bluegill. And now, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna switch the bait to crayfish. This could work. See if we see. Okay, I see a bigger bass floating around the front fighting. here. I think I could catch a smallmouth bass with this. That's it, I think. With the crayfish. And yeah, this is a bigger fish because you can see it that it uh, actually tugged the line. So I think I got myself a bass here. I think we got a smallmouth bass, guys, because it's just uh, struggling. You, sir, are a fish. So there's the smallmouth bass that was with, with uh, a crayfish. And now we just need to get a chain pickerel. So I see a bunch of chain pickerel over here. Um, I need some bait on there. How's about this bait, I wonder? And I have caught the chain pickerel before with uh, crayfish. And corn. So we're going to try... We're gonna try the crayfish one more time and then we're gonna switch to corn. Oh, you kidding? Oh, that was a big fish. So at least I know that wasn't uh but actually guys, let's switch to corn. Cause I think uh, I've had good luck with the corn. For the chain pickerel. Anything biting, I wonder. Yeah, looks like a pickerel. 
But it's another red fin. You're in luck, my friend. But I'm looking for a chain picker also. Oh, I, what is wrong with me? Bank I just thing, saw you fool. ones that uh, are swimming here. Right in front, so we'll try right in front with the corn. And hopefully this is a chain pickerel. No, another red fin. Okay, I see some over here. We're gonna try one more one more time. Maybe. And there it is, the chain pickerel with the corn. I can't put you back. All right, guys. So we got a red fin pickerel with corn, a a chain pickerel with corn, a bluegill rock bass with cheese, and uh, we use the crayfish for the smallmouth bass. All right, guys. And now we are done in this location. So we're going to put our rod away. And basically what we're going to do is, I think the quickest way to do it would be to just ride back to Rhodes. And we are going to take a train to Riggs Station. Or you could just ride all the way to, to Riggs Station. I'm just doing it this way. I think it might be a little quicker if you don't feel like riding. I picked these spots because they're pretty close to to certain points where you can fast travel, just so you get her done a little quicker. Alright guys, so our next destination is up here, Bard's Crossing, right here. Right here. So we're gonna go to Rig Station. Oh, hello. Been a while since you were around this way. Again, you can just ride there, right, if you want. But, uh, All right here. just four bucks to get there in train pretty quickly. And then over here we're going to look for the large mount bass and the steelhead trout. You can also find redfin pickerel in this lake and some other fish species. Like there's the bluegill probably and you know those guys are pretty much everywhere. That's not my horse. That's funny. This is my horse. Alright, we'll get on the horse. 
and we're gonna head here. Also camp out so it's morning. Could do that. Don't understand what's going on. Why can't I quit? I'm fishing now. What is happening? There we go. Alright, so for the largemouth bass, we are gonna try some crayfish okay And there's your large mouth bass. Yeah. Large mouth bass. We're gonna keep that. Now we're gonna see. I think there's some trout over there. Uh, but I think the best bait for that would be the worms. So let me just switch to worms. Wait and see. Alright, we got something. Hopefully it's a trout. You're and not bad at all. It's another large mouth bass well you're quite a large mouth so as you can see Sorry. you can get it with either or let me just see here I'm gonna go to this side
Hmm. We'll try some worms, uh, or over here. See what happens. Oh, okay. That's way too close. Didn't mean to do that, but we'll leave it. I swear there's some trout over here. Oh, don't want to shoot them. So again guys, just a reminder, we're looking for steelhead trout. Try this area here. There you go. There's your steelhead trout. Awesome, guys. So that was with worms. Um, I'm going to show you guys. It was more in this area here. If you guys can see that. All right, perfect. Now we're going to head to our next location is Cattail Pond. Now you could ride or you could take the train to Wallace Station, but I might just uh, go for a ride here. Just because it's not that far, so. So let's just go ahead and get on a yeah. horse. Alright, so what are we getting in Cattail Pond? We're getting. Oh my lord, we're looking down on my notes. <laughs> we are getting a northern pike. And for that, oh man, horse is getting pretty tired. <laughs> And 
for that, uh, we're gonna use um, the river lore guys. Okay there, boy. Easy, boy. Again, you could have gone back to the train station and taken a train to, I guess, let's see, let's have a look. To Wallace Station, but it's not taking too long to get there, guys, so. I would probably just ride to this location, to be honest, by the time you take the train, but cinematic happens. Crack of dawn, perfect. ton of elk bathing here and the deer some deer elk all right guys so over here we're gonna equip the river lure and we're gonna go for the northern pike oh man I just Realize that uh, I'm losing a ton of health because I'm cold. Hey, so I guess that I'm gonna just change here real quick so that I don't lose all my health. Littering, that's not good. Alright, and we got the river lure. And I see a pike over here. So let's go. I think I should have gone a bit further, but that's okay. I'm gonna recast that just cause. Okay, you see that big pike? something hopefully cool, please yeah I mean it's fighting like a big fish so That's a beautiful looking fish, man. All right, let's uh, reel that in. Oh, come here. It's 
He's got one more round of fight in him. Hopefully he'll come in this time. Whoa, okay. There you have it. Northern I'm Pike. You, I'm afraid. We'll put that bad boy on the horse. <laughs> Maybe we'll cook him later. I'm all about. I guess I'm gonna save. Just in case. Alright guys, so the next spot we're gonna go is uh, Okray's Run here. So I'm gonna tr fast travel to, I guess, either Annisburg or Emerald Ranch. I think Emerald Ranch will be quicker. Just because uh, there's like less mountains and stuff, I think it's more of a straight run. So fast travel, Emerald Ranch. And then we'll ride from Emerald Ranch. And in Okray's run, we are looking for Perch, Sockeye, and Musk. What am I doing? I gotta stop looking down at my notes. And I gotta say, start paying attention, man. Holy moly. My poor horse. Alright, buddy. I also killed something there. That's kind of funny. Killed an animal there. I'm not sure what that was. But uh, here we go. Yeah. to Okray's run. There, boy. Maybe I'll edit this video down. I don't think people want to just watch me ride my horse. But uh, I do want to see how long it takes. So people get an idea of how long the whole challenge takes from beginning to end. Okay, so you can get bluegill, chain pickerel, rock bass here, but we're going for the perch first. And I think the best thing for that is uh, bread. Let's 
And yeah, perch are pretty little, so I'm seeing a bunch of little fish here. And we got something. Hopefully it's a perch. Oh no, it's a bluegill. There's the perch, guys. Okay. That's what we were looking for. You're Perfect. With me. And now we're gonna equip um, the river lure, and we're gonna go for sockeye salmon. Which, honestly, I think it's just. See a bunch right in front. I'm gonna recast that just because I wasn't happy with the distance, but I see one right here. Well, I see a bunch to my right. And that's a salmon, for sure. So that is awesome. And boom, that's the sockeye salmon. Alright guys, now we are actually going to switch to the lake lure. For the muskie. I'm just going to see if I see... There we go, okay, so you guys, I don't know if you saw that, but the muskies seem to be this way. Okay, I'm gonna recast just cause, uh... Hopefully we catch a muskie next. And we got some, yeah, I think it's a muskie. It happens, guys. It happens. Try one more time. All right. Try not to lose this guy. Yeah. 
All right. That should be the musky there. Beautiful. And I guess we'll throw this guy back. Since we do have uh, the other one there. Put away the rod. And uh, where's my horse? And I'll show you guys the next location. So there we caught perch, musky, and sockeye salmon. And the next location is going to be just down here. Um, in these little islands. So I think probably the best way to do it is probably just to fast travel to Van Horn. Probably just ride there too, but Okay, so we fast travel to Van Horn. I'm going to switch my clothes here. Uh, you know what? Let's rock a different outfit. Let's see what's here. Yeah, sure. Alright, guys, so from Van Horn, we're going to go. To here. Okay, there, boy. Yeah, yeah, you all right there, boy? I am, uh, Here, so hopefully Easy boy. I won't trigger bounty hunters. But we'll see. I'm gonna take the train tracks. Anyway, this is a, a Turkoman, right. which uh, I like because it freaks out less than the Arabian, and it's got pretty good speed and and, and everything. Are, are we at the island? Are these the islands? Okay, I'm gonna kill these alligators just because it's annoying that the horse is gonna like fuck me up. So I'm just getting rid of these alligators. Just so my horse doesn't freak out. Oh. 
Alright, here we are, guys. Let's get this going, and we're looking for catfish. So I'm gonna equip uh, corn. And we're looking for the bullhead catfish and the channel catfish. So there's a channel there. Hopefully this is just a bullhead and not a chain pickerel. No. You can just see here. Because I'm seeing a lot of pickerel. But I know that there's some... Uh... Gotcha, there we go. Partner. Perfect. So there's the bullhead catfish, guys. And now we are going to equip the swamp lore. And try to get those channel catfish we saw. They're the big boys you're seeing swimming there. So there's one right there. Right in front of me. Okay, I don't know why it does that. It's really weird, but. Let's just see where he went. I wish it was a bit more to the right, actually, but we'll see if he goes after it. Oh, I think I spooked him, actually. Yeah, I think he's gone from that position. Okay, there's another guy over here. And we got something. Hopefully it's the channel catfish. Yeah, probably the channel catfish for sure. Come on in, buddy. Come on in. 
There he is. That's a big boy. Let's keep him. Oh wait, I think I already got a big fish in the back of my horse. Oh, well, I guess I don't. Let's throw this guy. Alright guys, and now we're gonna head to the next location, which is we're going back to La Lagros here, and uh, about here. Ooh, gator eggs. Don't mind if I do. Time to go, boy. Okay. Okay, so don't bug me off. Whoa, it's okay, boy. Oh, there's a bear. A black bear. Yeah. Thought it was a gator, but all right. So we're going to the last spot. We're almost done this challenge. Okay, there's a gator nearby. Where is he? Is he gonna pop up and... Alright guys, so right now we're fishing for... Sturgeon. So we're gonna use the lake lure for that. Well, it's definitely not a sturgeon. That's a sturgeon. So there's some largemouth bass here as well, guys. This looks like it could be a sturgeon. Hopefully I don't get attacked by a knife folk right now or something like that. Yeah, it's a sturgeon. Whoa, what are you? A 
sturgeon, perhaps? Yes. All right. Now, let's get uh, our last fish. We're going to try Swamp Lore. And I'm looking for a long nose gar. I think I see one there, guys, so... Hopefully I don't... This will uh, honestly also catch the sturgeon. But I think, uh... I think this is a bass. And I'm looking for a long nose gar right now. Pretty sure that's a bass. That's a bass. Just have another look. Okay, so the gar are kind of like in the middle there. That was a really good cast right where the gar are. So hopefully we'll get it right here. another bass uh, I'm gonna let you off so there are two gar right in front of me a matter of uh, swimming right in front of me so hopefully this is the gar this will catch sturgeon too though right so I just gotta keep trying guys we've been actually doing really well with Getting a bunch of different fish pretty much without having to cast over and over again for them. I'm pretty sure this is a sturgeon. Pretty sure this is another sturgeon. Unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, that's another sturgeon, so I'm just gonna let him go. Alright, hopefully this is the gar, guys. You, I can tell what it is just because the long nose gar obviously have a pointy nose. And there's two of them swimming here, so... I'm hoping this is it. I don't think it's a bass because it's fighting way, way more than a bass would. 
And I don't think it's a sturgeon because usually you see their gigantic tails. Right, too much. So I'm hoping this is indeed our gar. Yeah, pretty sure this is the gar, guys. And there it is, you guys. All 15 species of fish. What are you? Gar. Quite a fish, In too. A Red Dead Redemption. 15 of 15. That wasn't too bad. We're going to throw this go. guy back. And um, we are going to... I guess we're gonna cook up the sturgeon here to celebrate uh, being done our challenge. Anyway, you guys, uh, check out the channel for more videos. I mostly do Fish and Sim World cha uh, videos, but uh, I decided to try my hand at these challenges, this fishing challenge in Red Dead, and I'm also gonna do a video catching all the legendary fish, and then I'll get back to making my regular videos that I usually make thank you guys for watching uh, hope you like the content thanks to all the new subscribers thanks for all the likes you guys are awesome hope you're staying safe you guys have a great day thanks for watching oh and that took about an hour which is not too bad anyway thanks guys